there's my recorder okay guys here we go let's do this now is this thing on testing one two all right let's just get into this now one of the things I was talking about was that first we got two alerts right here be mindful of that two separate alerts and I want to talk about why one of the alerts didn't fire okay which unfortunately I missed this move right here it cost me a good oh 47 bucks so okay I was already up about 50 bucks so from the last move down here we started running with these settings right here which I'm gonna co cover that too why is this only a thousand dollars I'm gonna tell you we've added the slippage of 80 bucks 40 to 80 bucks their slippage is this the strategy is accounting for slippage that's why you see some of these arrows kind of mis misplaced they're not in the right place we're accounting for slippage okay I'll just bring this up real fast we're using a hundred dollars okay that's why it's a thousand percent as soon as I'm able to bring this up you'll see what I'm talking about all right very slim settings you know only a couple like one two three four inputs um, but we're, our initial capital is 100 we're using about uh, 24 times leverage that's basically a piece of Bitcoin one contract at about a quarter of a contract okay for contract size per per uh, position okay with $100 that's really an even number so you can understand the math is is evening everything out that's why when you make a thousand dollars it says oh you made a thousand percent okay and that's a true to reality okay true to an account all right <clears throat> now so each one of these are average trade sizes we're making about 36 percent based on our hundred dollar account remember that that's what these numbers are in relation to our drawdown is about nine percent now how many days of trade was this strategy trading at 28 trades my power bot strategy version two of course by risks trader that's me okay this is a powerful power powerful bot okay it's not to be you know misconstrued with a lot of the bull you see out there okay all right now when you know what I've done with the settings what happens when I take the settings back to normal let's just say if we traded with one Bitcoin okay that means we just take this contract at a hundred dollars with a hundred dollar account trading with one Bitcoin is a uh, hundred times leverage okay just so you guys know just be mindful of that I'm gonna take this this is contracts I'm just doing this for you guys is knowledge so you can see what the contract pulls in without slippage okay I'm going to remove this slippage right here. Okay. Well, well let's keep the slippage. I mean, because the slippage is real. All right. Especially for whales. If a whale wants to put a, 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 a $4 million, $10 million order in and slam the market buy button or market sell button, guess what happens to the price? It goes slips. It slips up or slips down. Okay. Because there's not enough orders on the books. Same here. When we experience like something like this and you try to buy right here while we're spiking up will slip up a little bit okay now I've noticed the average slipping size of about it you know 40 give or take 20 to 40 and it doesn't go to as high as 80 I mean but I do that just 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 to, just for mind sake okay and so, so show you how powerful this strategy is now be mindful each tick is really 0.50 cent all right 0.5 all right so you really 80 80 50 50 cent pieces okay is about you know 40 bucks okay this is be mindful of that all right I want I don't want you guys to go around thinking this is 80 bucks and not accounting you know we do a standard deviation we base this on standard deviation of about 40 up 40 down okay and that's where I get the 80 bucks from okay all right now <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay and this strategy in seven days how do you know it's seven days 
because trading view doesn't tell you no. okay you got to go in the first strategy first trade was taken at the first of the month that would be about what well, since it's, it just started uh the next day just started for me i'm in uh america all right and uh the first day the next day just started at 21 minutes ago so i would say this is a this trade was taken at 12 noon time the first second noon third noon fourth noon fifth noon sixth noon seventh noon eighth noon that was today noon time today that's seven days okay today is now 12 hours later the new next day hasn't started so we're in a we're in the eighth day 12 hours into the eighth day okay so this is an eight day strategy as of right now i'm gonna mark this down okay i want to see how this thing draws while i'm recording all right eight day All right, really, seven and a half. But I'm going to just say seven and a half because the eight days isn't over with. Okay, but we'll just count it as eight days, okay? All right, now. All right, so looking at this. I hope you guys caught everything I said. We're going to get into what happened with my order not taking on the... Um... Now, how do I know? I put this as UTC, so all these match up, okay? Whatever you see here. Now, look. Look what happens when I take this and put it for... I could be mistaken. I'm just clicking this. All right. Now, I'm going to go to where, where I'm at, Los Angeles, Las Vegas. And I want to get the date of this this green one right here. So I'm going to grab my uh, all right. Come on, come on. All right, 15, 11. All right, it's missing. You see that? 15, 11 is missing, guys. Right, I'm going to just screenshot this, and I'm going to draw on this. All right. And all right, fifteen, what is it, fifteen eleven? That's between these two. And I know the fix for this, and you see. What we're looking at here is a, a long order, okay, right here. And we're also looking at a short order at the same time. That is the reason for this mishap. Now, the reason why this happened has all to do with how you set your alerts right here, okay? When you start setting your alerts, these are the two that I just disabled because they were causing the problem. I don't want to erase the alerts because they need to be debugged by TradingView. And if you erase your alerts, TradingView can't debug because they can't find the stuff that's in there. So they'll tell you, don't erase the alerts. Trust me, I've been through it. Customer service is great, by the way. Love TradingView, big ups. Now, <clears throat> what happens is, <clears throat> I'm, let's just say I got an alert right here. Now, I, I find some new settings. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Let's just go ahead and use the alerts that we have right now. Let's use those alerts, the current alerts. Imagine if these were on and these were green. These these dots were green. And I go in here and I edit it, right? And I go in here and I edit it. And I just simply find one of these alert scripts down here. That's why I showed you guys the alert scripts at the beginning. Okay. And this is the one down here. This is the one up here that we're currently using. Okay. Or vice versa and I switch it I just switch scripts that is a no-no 
if you if you're running a, if you're running your bot do not do that do not you don't want to do that okay that's a no no because you're going to get these types of misfires and i missed this nice good move up here man it turned into a loss for me a 50 dollar loss but my bot is amazing enough it's able to hold on to a 50 dollar loss but this is never was supposed to ever happen okay so don't allow this to happen in you that's the purpose of you making this video and um you guys uh really you know be safe out there trading okay and um really just don't switch your alerts around like you're crazy okay like this this alert right here you know this is not going to fire i mean this is not going to send anything to the exchange it's running old some old settings i set up all right and um it's as simple as it's switching scripts as as i'm going to show you right here just for just for come here come here come here come here i'm recording on a atom processor all right this is a i know i think it's yes yeah, atom pentium or something like that so the damn thing's probably you know i got i'm minimal i got the score to open minimal i can't click this thing and get it to open like what really come on system well this is my mobile cellular always with me setup very portable it works for me your orders will go through you don't have to worry if you're set up like me i'm just dealing with some slow uh thing because i'm recording at the same time but I'll, i will stop this and i might have to stitch some stuff together but i wanted to show you how these things move around on the um i'll just Oh, yeah, we're going nice and slow. Can't show you guys. Can't show you. All right. I'm not going to put you guys through hell. All right. Sorry. Um, we'll be recording some more in a little while. Okay. Uh, right now, we're in a short position. And it is, you know, just beginning the ninth. Okay. All right. We're at 28 trades in the last eight days. Okay. We made about four thousand dollars trading with what with one bitcoin okay this is trading with one bitcoin well on a hundred times leverage remember that if i wanted to go in, into more details with that you have to discord me we're in our discord you have to purchase the bot we don't ever do a hundred times leverage but if you were to have a successful bot with a hundred times leverage i mean big ups to you but we don't we don't do that okay and that's with a hundred dollars all right if you don't smooth things out to one bitcoin um one bitcoin is worth about back at the time of this strategy when we started trading this strategy seven days ago bitcoin was at let's just say okay ten thousand okay eight hundred dollars okay i know that from memory because I, I mean this is what i do and we're going to account for slippage okay we are accounting for slippage and the commission fees are bitmex fees deribit fees we're using deribit okay i'm gonna go ahead and click okay and now we're gonna get the proper percentages okay now that's about trading with one time leverage okay if you have a bitcoin to trade with this bot will definitely make you four thousand dollars in seven days okay that drawdown is minuscule okay minuscule okay let's go look at the performance of this bot okay all right this is accounting for for slippage that's why that's what you see right there it still pulls in a sharp ratio of one with slippage you're not gonna see this anywhere okay this is back tested trading okay back tested trading bot all right that means it will show you open pl commission paid only 486 bucks the gross losses that mean total losses for this week was $1,400 trading with one Bitcoin at one times leverage. Okay, we made out like bandits. Look, 40%. Okay, look, look, we really made 5,000, but with paying the commission of 400, let's say $500 plus the loss of uh, we ended up giving them about, I would say. I don't think these gross losses account for the commissions paid but you can see the losses came from 
the long and the short. So, yes, I can tell you for, without a doubt, this includes commissions, okay? These losses include commissions because these trades include commissions. They're included. So you don't have to worry about looking at commissions paid unless you really want that breakdown for losses. We pay, I mean, for longs, we paid, uh, what's that say? We paid 230, we pay 240, and for shorts, we paid 240. Of course, they should be even because we, we traded the same damn things. This is a all-in strategy. It never closes a position. It just stays in the market. It's, it's what they call an all-in strategy bot, okay? stays open it stays active all right until you shut it down all right now i'm going to be done with this um what does the bot trade without slippage if you want to know with one bitcoin one contract is one bitcoin all right i'm kind of slow over here you gotta i had this thing going fast one day i think it's because i got i got this open okay all right, this is cool for making flashcards. This is what I do to learn things really fast. I know people are like, damn, this guy's fucking all over the place. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. That's my uh, derivative over here running on um, Epic Browser. Okay. Bitcoin is $12,718 as we speak. And BitMEX is saying it's $12,600. So we're in a short and market is going down. Okay. You can see the, the price difference. Look, five, 650, 648. Okay, 650, 645, 640, 6, 640, 12, 